Now, the Nottingham Forest manager, Steve Cooper, has been publicly backed by the club's owner, Evangelos Marinakis, this afternoon. There had been uncertainty around his future with the club on an eight-game winless run. A Forest were beaten 2-1 at relegation rivals Leeds in the Premier League last night. They dropped to 17th in the table and it led to Cooper being questioned afterwards about his future. Just not that person that um, thinks about it. I just, like I said, all the joy of winning and the disappointment of losing is just what's right for, for the football club and, and not for yeah. myself. Has there been any contact um, from boardroom level? No, no, I've not, no, I've not seen, seen anybody, no. Did, did you have um, any conversations with players after the game as a group about what's happened tonight? Do you feel that they are still with you? Well, we only had the normal conversation after after the game. Obviously, there's, you know, there's a lot of meetings when you get back to the training ground and game reviews, and you pick things up ac accordingly. You never seem to have lost the backing of, of the fans. You, you gave them a little wave at the end. That no, that was more about the performance. Um, don't 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 read anything um, to that. Well, this is what the Forest owner, Evangelos Marinakis, has said today. No one denies that our club is in a difficult position in the Premier League, but we wish to end the speculation and the false and destructive reporting in the media to confirm that Steve Cooper remains our manager at Nottingham Forest. We've all been disappointed with recent performances, and it is very clear that a lot of hard work needs to be done to address this urgently. Results and performances must improve immediately. Now is the time for everyone connected with our club. From us as owners to the board, our supporters, backroom staff, coaches and players to come together and fight to secure our status in the Premier League. There can be no time for distractions, rumours and speculation. There is only time for hard work, determination, a commitment from Steve and the players to getting the results we need and, of course, the continued magnificent support of the fans of Nottingham Forest. So that's the statement. Our reporter, Kirsty Edwards, has been at the City Ground for us all day. Let's go back live to her now. Kirsty, good afternoon once again. So Steve Cooper has got the backing from Evangelos Maranakis, but do you sense he's still under pressure? Yeah, well, I think a key thing with this statement that's been released today is it was very much designed to end the speculation that we're seeing. And this speculation isn't just off the back of that result last night. It, you know, just last week when he did his press conference before the Wolves game, he was facing questions then about speculation over his future. So this has been ongoing for a few days now. So very much this statement was designed to end that speculation. But I think there's a key line in the statement that you've just read out there, uh, where they talk about results and performances must improve immediately. So very much there, you sense the pressure is still on to turn this form around, this form that's seen Forrest uh, unable to pick up a win in their last eight matches now. And um, when you talk about turning that form around immediately, they've got some tough fixtures coming up. Um, if you look at their next... Their next four fixtures, first of all, they've got Aston Villa on Saturday, a team very much in form at the moment. They've also got to play the likes of Manchester United, Liverpool, Brighton. And within their nine remaining fixtures this season, they've also got a game against the leaders, Arsenal, as well. So some tough fixtures ahead for Steve Cooper to, to turn things around and in particular, just take that first fixture coming up against Aston Villa, away from home again, and it's that dreaded word for Aston, uh, for, for Forest this season, away from home, because their away form has, um, has been a real sticking point for them this season. Just the one win away from home all season. Um, it's the worst record of all the clubs in the Premier League away from home. Importantly, though, I guess for them is the Premier League table um, counting home fixtures as well because they are just outside the relegation zone when it comes to that one, um, albeit um, it, it is only on goal difference. So a really big task ahead for Steve Cooper. Yes, he's had the backing today, but yes, it looks like the pressure is still on to turn that form around. And, and Kirsty, how will the, the backing for Steve Cooper from the owner be greeted by the Forest fans? 
Well, it was interesting, you know, last night I was looking at um, a, a lot of what the fans were saying after the game when this speculation was rife over Steve Cooper's future. And a lot of fans were saying, oh, you know, really worried, dreading seeing a statement today because they thought the statement would be uh, the opposite to what we've seen today. Because these fans love Steve Cooper. They love him for what he gave them last season, you know, finally getting back to the Premier League after so many years of, of trying, so many managers trying. Um, so, yeah, there has been a lot of love all season for Steve Cooper, and it was certainly evident here today at the city ground. It would be absolutely stupid to get rid of the man at this stage of the season. I don't think there should really be any speculation because um, basically everybody at this club loves Steve Cooper. Still got the games to do it. Ten points, very tough in the next nine games, super tough. There's not another manager that can come in and actually get results out of those ten games. Who, who will get us a win in the last nine games? Because we've got to play seven out of the top ten teams. It's not on him. It is on the players. You only had to look at last night. Did Some of them don't even try. Get me in that changing room, kick them yeah. off at the bottom. I'm not blaming uh, Cooper, no way. We've had that many managers, it's unbelievable, this club. And uh, th they've all been rubbish, but Cooper isn't. I've watched football for 70 odd years, and the only thing certain about football management is that you'll get the sack eventually. Steve, it's not you, mate. I love you, and most of no, the fans it's not love you. Steve, you. the fans are behind you. 100%. Most of the fans love you. Mr. I'll tell you that now. So the backing remains from the majority of the fans. Backing today from the club's owner. Um, speculation can end for now, and. Um, Steve Cooper's focus can fully be on this big game coming up against Aston Villa on Saturday. Kirsty, thank you very much indeed for the moment.